Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. Mon nom est Sandy Ali et nous vous souhaitons la bienvenue à la cérémonie d'Alexander Galt pour célébrer les réalisations de notre 50e promotion. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Megan McKinvin and we'd like to welcome you to Alexander Galt's ceremony to celebrate the accomplishments of our 50th graduating class. Myself and Miss Ali have the esteemed privilege of being your masters of ceremonies for this evening. La cérémonie et la remise des diplômes débuteront prochainement. Comme il est évident, notre événement sera différent du format traditionnel, mais nous vous encourageons à participer via Facebook en direct en envoyant vos félicitations et encouragements. Comme la discussion est surveillée, nous vous demandons de garder les messages et les commentaires polis et constructifs. The ceremony and the presentation of the graduates will begin momentarily. As is evident, our event will differ from the traditional format but we encourage you to participate via Facebook live stream by sending your congratulations and encouragements. As our stream is being monitored, we ask that you keep posts and comments polite and constructive. Comme nous le faisons traditionnellement, à leur arrivée, les diplômés s'approcheront de la scène pour recevoir leur certificat pendant que nous lirons quelques messages de remerciements et de souvenirs préparés à l'avance par les diplômés eux-mêmes. Pendant ce temps, le photographe professionnel capturera le moment et les photos seront disponibles gratuitement plus tard, après l'événement. Après, euh, après avoir reçu leur certificat, les diplômés sont fortement encouragés à faire un tour en ville afin que la communauté de Lenoxville puisse célébrer avec vous. As we traditionally do upon arrival, graduates will approach the stage to receive their certificate while we read out some messages of thanks and memories prepared in advance by the graduates themselves. All the while, a professional photographer will capture the moment and the photos will be available for free later on after the event. So after receiving the certificate, graduates are highly encouraged to take a tour in town so the Lenoxville community can celebrate with you. Cela dit, et sans plus tarder, nous sommes honorés d'avoir Mr. Roy McLaren comme notre distingué joueur de cornemuse qui commencera notre cérémonie. With that said, and without further ado, We are honored to have Mr. Roy McLaren as our distinguished piper who will commence our ceremony. Principal, Vice Principals, Director General, Commissioner, Alexander Galt faculty and staff, distinguished guests, proud family and friends, and graduating class of 2020, welcome to Alexander Galt's Golden Anniversary Graduation Ceremonies. Nous voudrions commencer par reconnaître que la terre où se trouve Alexander Galt et sur laquelle nous nous rassemblons ce soir se trouve sur le territoire traditionnel du peuple Abenaki et de la Confédération Webenaki. At this time, we ask you to stand, if you can, for the singing of our national anthem. En ce moment, nous vous demandons de vous lever, si vous le pouvez, pour l'hymne national du Canada. This year's rendition is performed by Michael Geary, a member of the graduating class. Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love, In all of us command, car ton bras sait porter l'épée, il sait porter la croix. Ton histoire est une épopée des plus brillants exploits. God keep our land. Glorious and free, O oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. O oh, Canada, we 
stand on guard for thee. We would now like to introduce Mrs. Peggy McCourt, our school principal, who wishes to share a few encouraging words with our graduates. Mrs. McCourt will then introduce our valedictorian. Nous aimerions maintenant présenter Madame Peggy McCourt, notre directrice, qui souhaite partager quelques mots encourageants avec nos diplômés. Madame McCourt présentera également notre major de promotion, Sarah Michel Auger. Good evening, dear graduates, invited guests, parents, friends, and staff to all here with us tonight on campus and to all those joining from a distance. This evening, I have the great privilege of welcoming you in our celebration of our Alexander Galt graduating students. While none of us could ever have imagined the circumstances we would live in this golden anniversary year of Alexander Galt, it somehow brings comfort that we should find ourselves here on our campus to celebrate this milestone in the lives of our students. That also marks a milestone in the history of our school. When the graduating class of 1970 became the first Piper alumni, little could they have imagined where we would be 50 years later. That first graduating class lived an experience of great change. They were part of over 3,000 students who came from their community schools to join together in this regional high school. Their graduating class navigated change, their school year beginning later than anticipated, and the first students coming through the doors in October rather than early September. Fifty years later, our Golden Pipers navigated even greater change, a school year that brought us many challenges, losses and grief, and which came to a sharp halt before being reincarnated in various forms. As we navigated these challenges, we exercised resilience. Amidst these challenges, we also found accomplishments, joy, and built memories. It was a year of character development. The tears, laughter, frustration, uncertainty, pride, passion, and perseverance all contributed to our growth and our progress. Our Golden Pipers are strong and resilient. Our Golden Pipers may be grieving the loss of their traditional prom where we could all gather under a common roof, sharing hugs, dances, and group photos. Those of you who have experienced prom at the Delta know that physical distancing during the ceremony seating is usually not two centimeters, let alone two meters. This is certainly not our usual prom. However, our Golden Pipers are having the opportunity to live a truly unique experience, a never been done at Galt before experience. And while we have become accustomed to thinking in terms of restrictions and limitations, while this ceremony was born of restrictions, it is the first ceremony that may actually have no limitations of guests. We are not limited to the 1,000 number. Thanks to technology, our Golden Pipers have unlimited guests observing this milestone celebration in their life. It might have seemed our glasses were half empty, but when we looked from a different perspective, they are actually half full. We are proud and grateful for the opportunity to mark the accomplishments of all of our students. Like this unique school year, each graduate has followed a unique path to arrive at our stage this evening, or perhaps I should say screen. Each experiencing their own challenges and triumphs, and tonight we applaud the success of students receiving certificates in recognized specialized programs, as well as diplomas of secondary education. Each student who crosses our stage tonight should feel proud of themselves and should also feel the pride that we have for them. Chers parents, je vous remercie d'avoir placé la confiance en nous pour éduquer vos enfants. Nous pouvons être fiers du fait que ce soir nous célébrons les diplômes bilingues, capables d'atteindre le succès dans notre monde dans les deux langues officielles du Canada. Nous pouvons être fiers que nos finissants sont forts et résilients. Ils ont démontré une capacité à persévérer et à réussir. To our graduates, tonight marks a pivotal milestone in your lives. The majority of you have spent at least the last five years together, if not the last 12. For some of you, I have had the pleasure to be your principal at both elementary and at high school. I joyously saw you go from learning to read to reading to learn. For those of you from SES, know what a privilege it is for me to be able to hand you both your elementary and high school diplomas, even if tonight I can only do so from two meters away. To all of our graduates, these years have seen you sharing not only school experiences, but life experiences. You have shared many things, some things that you really didn't want to, and other things that you probably shouldn't have. You have both laughed together and cried together. You have angered each other and encouraged each other. You have been establishing lifelong friendships and memories. Tonight, we gather as a community, albeit differently, connected by technology, physically different, di distanced, but yet connected 
virtually and emotionally surrounded by friends, family, staff, and the greater community. A collaborative partnership in supporting our graduates in their growth and success. Graduates, know that beyond your car, there is a great audience, and know that that audience gathers because of you. You have not been alone in this journey. You have been blessed to have the love and support of those around you. Dear graduates, as with this past period of your lives, how you seize each moment, persevere through each challenge, and how you face each triumph and each defeat will determine your legacy. You have already shown that you can persevere. Undoubtedly, the path that led you to the success we celebrate tonight has been decorated with different hurdles and triumphs, and you made it. Tonight, we all acknowledge and applaud everything that you have accomplished and the people you have become. Tonight marks your transition from childhood to adulthood. It is a period filled with new beginnings, new opportunities, new friendships and experiences, new freedoms and new responsibilities. Graduates, my parting message to you is one that I share with all of my students as they graduate. There are many influences in life and it is up to you to use good judgment and to stand for what is right. The experience that you will have is determined by what you choose to make of it. You have the power to make a difference. Respect yourself, others and your environment. Treat others as you wish to be treated. Leave each place as nice or nicer than you found it. Identify the kind of person you wish to be and then base your decisions accordingly. Take pride in your strengths and understand your needs. Remember that sometimes the right road is not always the easiest. Put your name on your mistakes. Live with integrity. With this as your anchor, it will be difficult to go wrong. Graduates, this evening is all about you. On behalf of Mr. Element, Ms. McCulley, Mr. Warnholtz, and Ms. Lyons, we extend to you our heartfelt congratulations and best wishes. We are proud of you and feel fortunate to be sharing your life. You are now Piper alumni. Be proud. We will watch for you as the years move forward and we await all of your triumphs. Go forth with confidence, pride, resilience, and the strength of character to weather any hardship and to stay the right path. Know that you are not alone. Go forth with determination and create brilliant, happy lives. It is now my sincere pleasure to introduce to you this year's valedictorian. A top academic student, our valedictorian has also demonstrated excellence of character. Her teachers describe her as kind, upbeat, pleasant, reliable, hardworking, studious, and fun. She has a never give up attitude. She is a terrific young person who demonstrates a quiet maturity, a broad knowledge, a willingness to learn, and is dedicated in always putting in a maximum effort and in doing her best. She is open to people, to new ideas, to change, and to challenges presented to her. She is a good judge of character. She thinks Mr. Learned is cool, and so do I. She has a beautiful, calm demeanor, a kind soul, and a generous heart. On behalf of the graduating class of 2020, I'm proud to introduce this year's valedictorian who has delivered a pre-recorded speech, Ms. Sarah Michelle Auger. Welcome to the class of 2020 and to all here today. My name is Sarah Michelle Oji, and I am the representing valedictorian for the graduating seniors of Alexander Galt Regional High School. Our senior year has been, quite frankly, a whirlwind of an adventure to say the least. It began with natural disasters of floating and heavy wind storms, and now we find ourselves in the midst of a global pandemic. It's safe to say we're ready to conquer anything. In the middle of March, we were announced the sudden closure of our school for the next two weeks to curtail the spread of the COVID-19. And eventually, our expected school year came to an abrupt end. Little did we know that March 13 would mark our last day of high school, a day that would leave many of us feeling bittersweet. All of the final events a graduating Piper would have looked forward to was now canceled. The infamous senior slip and slide, the senior trip, yearbook signings, everything. I've often wondered why, out of every school year, did it have to be ours? As I've learned in math class, some things don't always make sense, and sometimes it isn't worth searching for the answer. You simply have to turn the page and move on. This also applies to chemistry. Despite the odds we've managed to graduate, we finally made it, and I assure you it's a milestone we will remember for the rest of our lives. Fortunately, the end of our high school journey leaves us with valuable lessons and lasting memories that we will cherish forever. This being said, I would like to commemorate some of mine. I arrived at Alexander Galt in Secondary 3 after moving from the Yukon. Although I was timid at first, I was welcomed with open arms. The supporting staff, the teachers, as well as my classmates all helped ease my debut as a piper. Soon enough, I was introduced to the pep rally and the winter carnival, events that are definitely not taken lightly at Galt. 
As the school year went by, I learned many things. For instance, caring for an egg baby made me realize that I would be a terrible mother. I mean, Savannah and I did call ours breakfast. I also learned that eating chocolate cake while doing a headstand can show that food moves down the esophagus because of peristalsis and not gravity. Who would have known? And in cooking class, I learned that adding baking soda instead of baking powder gave pancakes a rather interesting taste. Sorry, Luann. We then moved on to secondary for a nerve-wracking year. However, I'll admit, it wasn't as stressful as the James Bond music played while taking his quizzes back in Mr. Poulain's class. Despite being a year filled with ministry exams, we still found a few ways to make Kit unforgettable. I nostalgically remember blasting Queen's music in our class, talking about haunted asylums with the English student teacher, and most definitely, our science classes with the very sassy Mr. Michaud. I will always remember Mr. Learned, my math teacher advising our class. Factor first, if that doesn't work, use the discriminant method, and if that doesn't work, cry. So I often cried. He also taught me that buying two Bambino pizzas is actually better than buying a large. And some would say we learn nothing in school. Finally, we continued our high school journey to secondary five, our graduating year. We experienced our last first day of high school, our last pep rally, and our last carnival, all while being afflicted and overwhelmed with senioritis. Although our experience as seniors ended without the chance to say goodbye and was far from being what we had all anticipated, it's still a year which holds some of the best moments of our lives. I never thought I'd say this, but I will miss the odd combination of both country dancing and ping pong held in our cafeteria during lunch hours. Also, I will definitely miss telling Mr. Learned that he's still cool despite his old age. <laughs> as graduates, it is now our time to pursue our academic aspirations and dreams as we embark on the next chapters of our lives. Luckily, the camaraderies we have formed with our classmates and the staff members are ones that we will carry onto the workforce and wherever life may take us. On behalf of the graduating class of Alexander Galt Regional High School, I would like to thank all the individuals who truly had a lasting impact on our lives. I would like to thank our parents who endlessly supported us through our high school journey. We wouldn't be here today without you. Thank you to our beloved siblings, friends, and families that have been there along the way. Thank you to Ms. Cortez, Kyle, and everyone involved for working day and night to make her graduation ceremony special under these unfortunate circumstances. Most importantly, the administrators, the teachers, the supporting staff, and the professionals who assist them. We thank you for guiding us along the way as we learn that they are too. Personally, I would like to thank Amy from The Hub for all that you do and for the free muffins. On a final note, I would like to conclude with a powerful quote regarding the way we perceive life. Leon Brown once said, You cannot change the past, but you can change the way you look upon it. So treat the past as a lesson and move on. With this being said, I suggest that we all focus on how far we have come and on our accomplishments instead of wondering what these last few months of school could have been. Let's all strive to move forward. Although we haven't had the traditional experience of the Piper graduates, we've had one that's truly unique onto itself. Class of 2020, the past three years I spent with you have been simply wonderful. From the bottom of my heart, I wish you all the best in life, and for one last time, stay peppy, Vipers. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. McCourt and Sarah Michelle. We will now begin the presentation of the graduation certificates. Our principal, Mrs. Peggy McCourt, will be presenting the certificates. We would appreciate if the graduates and members of the audience here at Galt refrain from talking throughout this portion of the ceremony. Merci, Madame McCourt et Sarah Michel. Nous allons maintenant procéder à la présentation des certificats. Notre directrice, Madame McCourt, présentera les certificats et nous apprécierions que, du, que les diplômés et les membres du public ici à Galt s'abstiennent de parler tout au long de cette partie de la cérémonie. Michaela Chamberlain. Michaela is off to Sejep next year with her best memories being those of her friends she made through her five years 
as well as, as well as the teachers who helped her. Michaela would like to thank Mrs. Dubo for always being there, no matter the reason or the situation. Sarah Contré. Sarah is attending CEGEP next year and will cherish the memories of the performing arts concentration and being in the band forecast. Sarah would like to thank Mr. Leonard, Mr. Obermeyer, and Mr. Juby. Sarah has been busy on the front lines of the COVID situation and has been very busy custom making face masks for her family, all the while reading books and keeping active outdoors. Christopher Kassar. Christopher is attending CEGEP next year. He is thankful for basketball and for his friends. Christopher would like to thank his teachers, coaches, and friends. Uh, Chris is finally working on his PS4 skills during the COVID isolation. Jake Hetherington. Jake is entering the workforce next year and will be working on full t but will be working full time. His best memories are of his friends and good teachers he's had along the way. In particular, Jake would like to thank his math teacher, Mr. Sharman, a man of few words. Jake bestowed his best wisdom and said, it's no secret, stay active and keep a regular routine and you'll get through everything. Thomas Bilodeau. Next year, Thomas plans on attending CEGEP. His best memory is that of being cast in the We Will Rock You play. Thomas would like to thank Ms. Grenier, Ms. Lyons for the contributions and impact on his time at Galt. Thomas says that opening the books or downloading an app to help you learn new language is definitely a great way to get through the COVID situation. Melina Bilodeau. Melina will be entering the workforce next year and will take memories of Galt Winter Carnival with her. Melina would like to thank Mr. Court, Mr. Hollywood, and Miss Bergeron. Melina didn't mince words when she said, eating is the best distraction there is during these transitional times. Jessica Carrier. Next year, Jessica plans on entering the workforce. She's very thankful for everything she has learned at Galt and would like to thank her mom and dad for always supporting her. Her sister Angela for always being there for her and to all her teachers for encouraging her over the years. Oceana Brown Lafont. Next year, Oceana is off to Crefa to study animal production. She takes with her the memories of having, of hanging with her friends and making new ones in her last year. Oceana would like to thank Madame Cote, Mr. Leonard, Mr. Gautier. Oceana hasn't taken any time off during the COVID situation and says her newborn calves and kittens are a great distraction from everything. Zachary Bazin. Zach is attending CEGEP next year and will bring memories of Galt Winter Carnival with him. He's very thankful for the time and effort spent making school activities fun and enjoyable. Zach would also like to thank Madame Ali and Mr. Fisk for their impacts on his life here at Galt. Brianna Baudouin. Brianna would like to thank all of her friends and teachers over the years who have supported her and helped her grow. The end of year has been a difficult one for all of us, and even though she will miss out on a normal prom celebration, she is looking forward to the future. She will be attending Champlain in the fall in health sciences. Jasmine Bennett. Jasmine will be heading off to John Abbott next year. Her best memory will be winning Galt Winter Carnival in her last year. She would like to thank all her teachers for getting here and for getting her where she needed to be. Congratulations. Noah Burns. Next year, Noah is off to Sejep, but will always keep the memories and experiences he's had with friends. Noah would like to thank all of the helpful teachers he has had along the way. 
Noah says working and gaming is a pretty safe bet when it comes to getting through the days of isolation. Abdul Barry. Abdul will be attending Sejap next year. His best memories are being with friends and playing basketball for Galt. He would like to thank his family, friends, all his teachers and coaches. Abdul says hopping on the PS4 with the boys is the best distraction from the COVID situation. Courtney Anderson Stubborn. Courtney will be attending Champlain next year. Her best memories will always be tied to Winter Carnival, Spirit Days, the plays, and the Library Bistro to hang with friends. Courtney would like to thank all her teachers, the staff in Student Services, and a special thanks to Judith and Dale in the library. Courtney has been using FaceTime to hang with friends and says access to unlimited Netflix definitely helps during these times. Danik Baskin. Danik has plans to try out for a AAA hockey or enroll in a DEP. His best memories are of his hockey and soccer seasons. Danik would like to thank all of his friends and coaches along the way. And in pure Danik fashion, sports and training have been the go-tos for him during these tough times. Nick Bradley. Nick is off to Sejep next year and brings with him memories of hockey with the boys and lunchtime knockout in the gym. Nick is especially thankful for his family, Miss Coleman, Mr. Hind, and the boys. Nick has a tired and true formula consisting of video games, work, and sleep to get him through the days of isolation. Nikki Boucher. Nikki is attending Cégep de Sherbrooke next year. Her greatest memories are those with the soccer and basketball team. Nikki would like to thank all the friends she's made this year and the teachers who made class fun. Not one to slouch around, Nikki says keeping active every day while keeping in touch with friends and family is important during these tough times. Kevin Chartier. Kevin is off to Champlain next year and studying, and studying human sciences. Kevin would like to thank Mr. Michaud, who tolerated his bad jokes and talking all of the time, Mr. Baudouin, who joked around with him, and, jo and Jonah after class, Ms. Vanier, who made English class interesting, Ms. Brown, who helped him make his transition from French school to English a hundred times easier as well as his friends who made going to school more and more fun every day. Kevin is pretty traditional and says finding a new hobby or just sticking with video games and Netflix is the way to go for surviving the quarantine. Brooke Burroughs. Brooke, our student council president, is off to Champlain next year. She's very grateful for all the memories she's created here at Galt and despite the non-traditional ending, knows the end of high school would have been bittersweet regardless. Brooke would like to thank all of her teachers, especially Ms. McKinvin, for always being such an amazing and guiding person. Brooke says not much changed for her during the COVID pandemic, but the best way to cope is to stay positive and focus on the positive aspects of life. Rana Abd El Rahman. Rana is off to New Horizons next year and brings her best memories of friends with her. Rana would like to thank Miss Monty for all her constant support and the impact on her life. Rana also <laughs> Rana says keeping yourself busy and going for a walk are the simplest things to get some routine and normalcy back in your life. Devin Blanchard. Devin is attending Sejep next year. His favorite memories are the roadies with the boys. And Devin would like to thank Devo, Zach Baz, and all the hockey boys. Ms. Cortez, Mr. Learned, and DJ Quicks. 
Zoe Gagnon. Next year, Zoe will be studying visual arts at Champlain. Her best memories will always be of meeting her in school and international friends. Zoe would like to thank Gabby Laplante and Mr. Robertson, sticking with her and their impacts on her life. Zoe has been busy with art projects and says they've really helped relieve her stress during these overwhelming times. Philip Robert Catchpaw. Philip is taking a year off next year, but will keep the memories of Galt Spirit Days. Additionally, Philip would like to thank everyone in his life for getting him through high school. Congratulations. Connor Blanchett. Connor will be attending CEGEP next year, and his best memories will always be of the great friends he's made through his time at Galt. Congratulations. Journey Bardati. Journey will continue to make waves next year as she starts her studies at Sejep. Her favorite memories are those of the adventure and performing arts concentration. On the same token, Journey is, uh, Journey is very thankful for her family as they drove her around to all her rehearsals and lessons. Miss Lyons for continually inspiring her and Miss Sylvester for sticking through the stresses of a play that never saw the stage. Journey brings her enthusiasm to the table and suggests creating, learning, and taking time to do all the things you always put off as ways to get through everything. Joshua Charon. Joshua is taking a year off, but will always cherish memories of meeting his friends. He would like to thank Mr. Learned for, the <laughs> for helping him with math and just being funny in general. Joshua says playing League of Legends has really helped him make the best of the COVID situation. Christopher Crawford. Christopher is off to LVTC next year. His best memories revolve around Spirit Day and all the good teachers he had. Christopher would like to thank Miss Ledoux for the impact on his life. Oops, your diploma. It's an important part. Christopher has started bringing the office uh, for what we can assume isn't the first time. He's de he definitely suggests doing the same during isolation. Rachel Beaton. Rachel will, Rachel will be attending the accounting program at LVTC next year. She would also like to thank all the teachers who continuously put in effort with her and encouraged her as well as Alexander Hops. Congratulations, Rachel. Sarah Michelle Auger. Sarah Michelle is off to Sejep next year to study nursing. She says her best memories are those with all her friends, and she would like to thank Mrs. Brown for being the best mentor anyone could ask for. Our valedictorian has resorted to emotional leading and says it has really helped her get through the isolation period. Michaela de Caron. Michaela is off to Champlain next year. Her best memory is playing with her flag girls. She is thankful for her coach, who made it flag football amazing. Michaela would also like to thank all her friends for always being there. After a long year of academics and sports, Michaela says just sitting back, binging on some Netflix has really helped her cope with the COVID situation. Leah Andrews. Next year, Leah will be studying health sciences at Champlain. Her best memory will always be performing lip sync in the auditorium with level fives and having a blast together for the last year of high school. Leah would like to thank Mr. Dubois who helped her in every class during her first two years, Mr. Gella who got her through her first year of high math, Mr. Hine for making classes so fun and easy to learn, and finally Kyle and Ms. Cortez for organizing everything from prom committee to the hours put into planning for our grad pictures at Galt and making sure we get somewhat of a prom and celebration. Leah would like to uh, say staying active has really helped her stay healthy but also tries, uh, tries her out so tires her out so she falls asleep easier. 
just working in general has helped distract her from the quarantine. Simon Dutil. Simon will be attending Champlain in the fall and brings memories of Mr. Hines' history class with him. On the same note, Simon would like to thank Mr. Hind for making history class so much fun. Simon was straight to the point and says video games are pretty much the best way to get your mind off things during the COVID situation. Samira Bergeron. Next year, Samira is off to Seja. Her best memories revolve around the performing arts concentration and improv team as they allowed her to forge new friends, friendships and express her artistic side. She also really loved the day trip to Montreal um, with the improv team and belting show tunes on the bus ride. Samira would like to thank the staff for making her feel welcome and accommodating her learning style, which allowed her to thrive academically. Moreover, Samira would like to thank her performing arts peers for sharing the spotlight with her, especially her close friends, for all the laughs, mutual creativity, and the continued support. During these tough times, Samira has been busy refining her comedy writing skills and learning guitar. If you ask her dad, however, he'll say she's still the best at binge watching TV. David Kaye. David is off to Champlain next fall and brings memories of teachers who went out of their way to help him learn. He's especially thankful for Miss Ms. McCourt for supporting him since elementary, as well as Mr. Shea, Madame Paquette, and Miss Brown. David has been playing a lot of video games to keep himself engaged and distracted during these tough times. Owen Dubot. Owen is coming back home and starting his, his studies at LVTC. His best memories are of Piper hockey. Owen would like to give thanks to Miss Ledoux for everything she's done. Owen was pretty straightforward and says the best way to survive the COVID situation is basically to just avoid people altogether. Jose Cabaza. Sorry. <laughs> Jose is attending Champlain next year and is thankful for God and her amazing and her amazing family for their constant support. Additionally, Jose would like to thank Mr. Learned and her friends Harley, Rachel, and Serena. Jacob Harrison. Next year, Jacob is off to study forestry with the goal of becoming a game warden. He's very thankful for Mr. Coley teaching him how to play rugby and coaching him for four years. Additionally, he would like to thank his friends for making high school a fun place to be. Sydney Crawford. Sydney will be attending Champlain College and Pure and Applied Science. Her best memories are those golf winter carnival, special activities, end of year trips, and being on the swimming, soccer, and flag football teams. Sydney is thankful for all the teachers, coaches, staff, and her friends for putting so much time and effort into our school to make it fun and memorable. Sydney would especially like to thank Mr. Hind and Madame Thibault for being amazing coaches and encouraging her to go the distance. Kyle and Miss Cortez for all the wonderful student activities and keeping school life fun and interesting. Mr. Learned for being the best physics teacher and all the sports concentration teachers, Miss Dubo, Mr. Walker, and Miss Chandler for teaching her the importance of hard work, training, leadership, sportsmanship, and balancing a healthy lifestyle with academics. Sydney has been crazy busy by focusing on eating healthy and staying active. She's developed a green thumb and is constantly working on personal projects and goals. Nathan Dubreuil. 
Nathan will be entering the workforce next year with goals of, of obtaining his class one license. His best memories will always be those of messing around with his friends. Nathan would like to thank Ms. Ledoux, Madame Nadeau, and Mr. Learned. Nathan suggests keeping busy and working on your hobbies to survive the isolation period. He personally recommends video games and working in the sugar bush. Caden Drew. Caden is attending Sejep next year, and his best memories will always be of having really good teachers. Caden would like to thank Mr. Gautier for being a great teacher in the hunting and fishing concentration and making it a really great last year at Galt. Megan Lefebvre. Megan is starting her DEP next year and would like to thank all her friends and wonderful teachers for all their support. Megan is currently working in a retirement home and says spending time with her family and, and riding her quad have really helped during the quarantine. Congratulations. Michael Leonard. Michael is off to the LVTC next year to undertake the welding program. His best memories are those revolving around Galt's Winter Carnival. Michael would like to thank his mom, dad, Vanessa, Mr. Robertson, Mr. Learned, Mr. Marlin, for all their support and encouragement. Michael says being on FaceTime and keeping a steady routine are the best ways to keep some normalcy. Sierra Buzzle. Sierra is off to start her DEP and secretarial studies next year and brings memories of all her friends and the fun stuff that happened during sports concentration. Sierra is thankful for all her friends and family who constantly push her to do her best. She would also like to thank all her teachers, friends, and family for helping her get where she is, notably Mrs. Dubo and Mr. Walker for pushing her to succeed in sports concentration. Jacob Coddington. Jacob is starting his DEP next year in heavy equipment mechanics at Centre 24 Juin. His favorite memories are the hockey trips with the boys, Jacob would like to thank his parents for supporting his dream to play hockey for the Galt Pipers. He would also like to thank his older brother, Mr. Warnholtz, with whom he lived with for the past two years so he could be closer to school. Jacob is keeping himself busy with work and says it's a great way to survive the COVID situation. Brett Bryant. Brett is off to Champlain next year and will be bringing memories of music, gym class, and his friends. Brett would like to thank all of his wonderful teachers, a hard worker anywhere you find him. Brett says the best survival tool is work, work, and more work. Lauren Cheel. Lauren is heading off to Champlain next year. Her best memories are all her soccer games and she's thankful for her friends and teachers. Additionally, Lauren would like to especially thank Ms. Dubo for being the best teacher and coach out there. Lauren was pretty clear when she said Netflix is definitely her formula for surviving isolation. Amaryllis Gariepi. Amaryllis is venturing away from Lennoxville next year to attend Sejep in Drummondville. Congratulations. I know it's not there. Lorelei Ferlin. Lorelei will be attending Sejep next year. Her favorite memories will always be Galt Winter Carnival and the support from teachers. Lorelei would like to extend her thankfulness to all her teachers for making subjects fun and a joy to learn in a time where emotions can be at an all-time high. Lorelei has turned to art as a creative outlet. Aaron Costello. Aaron will be studying liberal arts at Champlain next year. Her best memories are the amazing people she met in her five years, especially her girls who kept her smiling. Erin would like to thank every teacher and coach she's ever had, 
to Mr. Hind in particular, thank you for putting up with her in class and on the field. You the real MVP. <laughs> Christopher Hafford. Christopher is attending Vancadjoir next year. His best memory is the 2020 edition of Galt Winter Carnival. Christopher would like to thank Mr. Marlin for his funny stories. Cody Martin. Cody is taking a year off next year, but will always cherish memories of Spirit Day and Galt Winter Carnival. Cody would also like to thank all of his teachers for getting him where he needed to be. Allison Hodge. Allison is attending Sejep next year. She is thankful for everybody who has helped make her years awesome, and her best memory is any sports class, any sports class really, where they always had great laughs. Allison would like to thank Mr. Learned, Mr. Walker, and Miss Dubo for having such an impact on her. Allison lucked out and, adop and adopted a puppy to keep her busy and entertained during the COVID situation. Aww. Leah Lister. Leah will be attending Champlain College this fall in a three-year accounting program. She would like to thank all her friends throughout the years for making her experience at Galt memorable and to her teachers for inspiring her. Michael Geary. Michael will be studying in the social sciences at Champlain next year. His best memories are being in the Galt Theatre productions. Michael would like to thank Madame Ali for always having his back and being a great teacher. Additionally, Michael would like to thank Ms. McKinvin and Mr. Hind for allowing him to spend lunch hours in their classes and being exceptional teachers. Michael says getting back to nature by taking a daily walk and getting some fresh air is the best way to gain back some normalcy. Harley Hampton Pettigrew. Harley is attending Sejep next year. She's thankful for March 13th being the new last day of school and the cafeteria chocolate chip cookies that made school tolerable. Harley would also like to thank Hosa and Sasha for their impact on her life. She channels her inner foodie and says, mac and cheese is your only need to survive the isolation. <laughs> Audrey Nadeau Fishep. Audrey will be starting her Sejep studies next fall. Her best memories are those of the activities at Galt, namely the Winter Carnival and Spirit Day. Audrey would like to thank Ms. Coleman, Madame Ali, and Mr. Poulain, a star crossfitter Audrey suggested eating and working out to survive her COVID situation. Gabrielle Laplante. Gabrielle will be starting her DEP in hairdressing next year. Her best memories revolve around the Piper swimming team, her helpful teachers, and the Galt Winter Carnival. Gabrielle would like to thank Kyle, Mr. Cote, and Ms. Cortez for their impacts on her life. Gabrielle is taking the time to self-reflect and gain some perspective during these tough times. Okay. Gavin Mosher. Next year, Gavin is off to Sejep. His best memories revolve around the hunting and fishing concentration. Gavin would like to thank Mr. Gauthier for his continued support and impact on his life. Additionally, Gavin says fishing has really helped him cope with the COVID situation. Nicholas Ewenson. Nicholas will be attending Sejep next year. His best memory is that of the 2020 edition of Galt Winter Carnival. Nicholas would like to thank Mr. Hind, Mrs. Powell, and Mr. Normandin. In his own words, Nick says to work your booty off as a surefire way of surviving the COVID situation. Maya Gooden. Maya is taking the nursing program at Champlain next year. She is very thankful for all her amazing friends. 
and wants to extend an exceptional thank you to her mom and dad, as well as her teachers for everything they do. Congratulations. Matthew Lowry. Matthew is heading off to CREFA next year to study auto mechanics. His best memories will always be Piper Athletics, where he played soccer, basketball, and lacrosse. Matthew would like to extend his thanks to Mr. Dunn for driving his butt around the basketball, for basketball, for Mr. Gella and Mr. Smith for all the help and resource, as well as Mr. Gill and Louise for letting him through his last year with only two days of school per week. Matt says it's pretty simple, find a job or some work and keep yourself busy during the isolation period and you'll be all set. Nathaniel Fortier. Nathaniel is taking a year off next year, but is thankful he made it through high school and would like to thank Mr. Robertson for the impact on his life and time at Galt. Nathaniel says finding a job and keeping busy is easily the best way to keep you going during the COVID situation. And it's time. The rest is okay. Savannah Johnson McNabb. Savannah is taking a year off to work and brings with her memories of meeting new friends in level one and still being friends with them at graduation. Savannah would like to thank Miss Kerr for helping her through a lot of tough times. A hard worker, Savannah says keeping yourself busy is the biggest battle, but definitely yeah, but the best way to survive the quarantine. Taylor Harrison. Taylor is heading to Sejep next year and brings with her memories of meeting all of the amazing people and getting to spend almost every day with her two best friends. Taylor would like to thank Mr. Robinson, who helped her so much in her difficult times and helped her pass level four mathematics. Taylor says that riding her dirt bike and raising all of her ducks and chickens have been a great distraction for her during these tough times. Andrew McLeod. Okay. Yes. I'm going to need to know who's next. Andrew will be attending Champlain next year, and his best memory is hanging out I with have his no friends. Idea who's next. They're not in order. Moray? Right. Alexandra Moray. Alexandra will be attending Sejep next year, and her best memories of Galt are winning carnivals. Alexandra would like to thank all of her friends for their impact on her and helping her through Galt. Alexandra has developed a pretty good relationship with Netflix to cope with the isolation situation. Lily Jacqueline. Lily is heading off to Champlain next year and will be studying psychology. Her best memories will always be of playing Piper sports, especially flag football. Lily would like to thank all her teachers, especially Mr. Hind, her coaches, especially Mr. Walker, and all her teammates and classmates. Isaac Sailora. Next year, Isaac will be taking the time to ensure he has all of the necessary courses and prerequisites on his road to becoming a border patrol officer. His best memory of Galt has, was the last day of high school, and he would like to thank all of his teachers for pushing him to do the best, especially Mrs. Powell and Mr. Leonard for pushing him like no one else could. Isaac probably drew from his own work ethic and recommends staying active to get through the COVID situation. Alexander Hops. Alexander will be starting his DEP next year. His best memories are of all the friends he's made and the experiences they've given him. Alexander would like to thank Ms. Brown and Mr. Verhaden. Emma Martel. Emma begins her DEP next year. She is very thankful for Luann, who has made classes feel like less long, and Sarah Michelle for her big brain. 
Emma says, the best way to survive the COVID situation is to just send it. Congratulations. Emmy Hood. Emmy is attending Sejep next year. Galt Winter Carnival is hands down her best memory, and Emmy would like to thank Mr. Leonard for always believing in her. Short and to the point, Emmy says food is all you need to survive the COVID isolation. Eric, Eric Jedra. Okay, Eric Jedra. Eric will be studying in industrial electronics at Cegep de Sherbrooke next year. Some of his best memories were in Mr. Lerner's classroom where he always had a way of brightening his day and making every class interesting and fun. Eric would like to thank Journey Bardati for being such a good friend and made his transition to golf so much easier. Additionally, Eric would like to thank Mr. Gala who helped him through some stressful times throughout the secondary four. And lastly, a huge thanks to all of the people involved in planning and setting up all of the grad photos along the entrance to Galt. It was very touching and it will never be forgotten. Jonah Mackey. Jonah is attending Sejep next year. His favorite memories are the Galt Winter Carnivals and he'd like to thank all his friends he's made during his time at Galt. Jonah has kept his work ethic up and suggests work is the best use of time for this COVID period. Natalia Jones. Natalia will be studying at Champlain next year and takes with her all of the memories of Galt drama and all of the musicals. Natalia would like to thank Mrs. Lyons for her impact on her time at Galt. Alicia Martin. Alicia will be starting her DEP studies next year. Her favorite memory will always be that of making new friends. Alicia would like to thank Madame Coté. To survive the COVID situation, Alicia has been working and highly recommends doing the same. Adam Medlin. Adam will be attending SAGEP next year. His best memories are the last 12 weeks and he would also like to thank Mr. Coley for helping him through Galt. Adam suggests binge watching every season of the Power Rangers ever made to cope with the COVID isolation. Amber Mastine. Next year, Amber is taking some time to earn money for her license and school she wants to attend. She says her best memory would be when she started dating her current boyfriend who she met here at Galt. Amber would like to thank Rachel for always being by her side through every bad moment and taking those walks around the school that made everything better. Additionally, Amber would like to thank Lori for always helping her with her anxiety and being the person she went to the most. Amber says she's been really lucky to be surrounded by her best friend and boyfriend during these tough times and couldn't be happier. Mercedes Lloyd. Mercedes, Mercedes is heading off to Champlain next year to study in special care counseling. Her favorite, favorite memories are those of her first and last day of the school year because it's the beginning and the end to new life challenges and great memories. Mercedes would like to give special thanks to Mrs. Allen, Mrs. Ledoux, Mrs. Powell, and her amazing friends. Mercedes offered some words of wisdom for isolation and says to be consistent, have a routine, and don't let yourself get bored. Damien Lapointe. Damien will be starting his DEP next year and is thankful for all the teachers who taught him over the years. In particular, he would like to thank Miss Brown and Mr. Leonard. Damien suggests games and friends as a way to cope with the COVID situation. Alyssa Sager. Alyssa isn't quite sure what she'll be doing next year, but we're confident she'll figure it out along the way. In the meantime, she'll carry memories of music at lunch hour, Galt Winter Carnival, and Spirit Day. Alicia would like to thank all of her friends for making it a last year to remember. Having fun with family is what Alicia recommends during these tough times.
Hannah Gilpin. Hannah is attending Sejep next year. Her best memories are the trips with the basketball team. Hannah would like to thank her grandparents, her parents, and all her teachers. Hannah says staying active is the best way to stay busy and cope with our current situation. Sienna Waller. Sienna is starting trade school next year and cherished memories of all of the support she has received from her friends. Additionally, Sierra, Sienna would like to thank Mrs. Blampied for trusting her and making her enjoy her time in the arts concentration. Sienna says playing Animal Crossing is probably the best thing to get through the COVID isolation period. Margaret Hornibrook. Next year, Margaret will begin her vocational studies in hairdressing. Her best memories are of time spent with friends. Margaret would like to thank all her friends and her parents for all the support and devotion through high school. Dylan Gilbert. Next year, Dylan... Next year, Dylan will be working for Garda in armored trucks. His best memories are with being with the boys. Dylan would like to thank all of his teachers and extend a special thank you to Mrs. Coleman. Hernandez Mauricio. Mauricio would like to thank his uncle Israel, his mom, his dad, and his family. Oh, oh. <laughs> Matthew Moore. Matthew is heading off to Champlain next year to tackle pure and applied sciences. His favorite memory will always be Galt Winter Carnival. Matthew is particularly thankful for all of the school psychologists and his group of friends. We're just going to pause for a minute because we're a little bit ahead of the grads, so that's nothing wrong with that. I could sing. No. Thank you. Serena Goldovo. Serena takes the next step next year and begins her Sejep experience. She will always remember doing the talent show alone for the first time. Serena is thankful for meeting amazing people and would like to thank Mr. Leonard for showing her how capable she is at succeeding. Serena says the best way to cope with the COVID situation is by FaceTiming friends and making ramen. Cassandra Langwa Verplas. Cassandra plans on attending the nursing program at LBTC. She is very thankful for Mr. Gala and Mr. Coley for their dedication in helping her pass her level three and four mathematics. Cassandra's best memories will be of playing golf, soccer for two years, and the talent shows. Cassandra suggests lots of biking and walking so that you don't get cabin fever during quarantine. Christian Hartley. Christian will be attending the diesel mechanics course at Vancadjoir. His best memories are when he played in the winning game and achieving all three banners with Piper Hockey in level two. He's thankful for the good friends, Kevin, Jonah, and Jacob, making classes more enjoyable and time fly faster. Christian has been really busy conquering video games, playing basketball and hockey outside as well as hiking and horseback trail riding to gain some normalcy during the, <laughs> during the isolation. Jaden Powell. Jaden has enjoyed his time at Alexander Galt and would like to thank all of his family, friends, and teachers that have helped him along the way. Congratulations, sir.
Derek Wood. Derek plans on attending Sejep next year. He has too many memories to list, but is happy to have been on Piper athletic teams. Derek would like to thank Mr. Robertson for being the best teacher he's ever had. Justin Renault. Justin will be starting his DEP on electric repair and attending adult education. His fondest memories are those of the amazing staff and teachers who showed kindness and compassion for everyone and not treating every student like a number. Justin would like to thank Mrs. Powell for being one of his favorite teachers because of how much she explained everything in a way that can be understood and her bright sense of humor. Justin has also used, used the scooter rides to clear his head and enjoy the isolation period. Easton Robitaille. Next year, Easton plans on completing either a grade 12 or attending Sejep. His best memories will always be of Piper Hockey. Easton would like to thank Mr. Fisk, Alex Dosti, Jacob Coddington, Scott Loach, Nick Bradley, Josh Picard, Cole Bennett, and Owen Dubo. Yalen Liu. Yalen begins her Isajep studies next year. She has many memories of the time at Galt and would like to thank all of her teachers who supported her along the way. Jad Tardif. Jad is off to the big city next year to begin studies at McDonald College. Her best memories are those she shares with all her amazing friends. Congratulations. Jad would like to thank Mr. Sharman for helping her along the way and the impact he had on her life. Jad got right to the point and suggested a good old Netflix binge as your quarantine survival buddy. Sabrina Sage Marsh. Sabrina is taking a year off and would like to cherish the memories of her friends. She would like to thank all of her friends for getting her through high school and making things better. Sabrina highly suggests social media and FaceTime as some foundational ways of staying connected during these tough times. Luan Tongi. Next year, Luann begins her studies to become a nurse assistant. She is very thankful for still graduating despite missing so many days of school. Luann would also like to thank Sarah Michelle for all the time she helped her with her homework. Luann has been busy working to keep herself distracted from the current situation. Melinda Straps. Melinda has been accepted into the registered nurse program at Champlain next year. Her best memories will always be that of spending the time with her friends and seeing how much she's grown over the years into a person she is now. Melinda would like to thank Mrs. Kerr, Mr. Sharman, and Mrs. Como for all of their support and their impact on her life. Melinda says it's important to check in on family members and friends during these times and remember how important family is. Shelby Lynn Sheldon. Shelby Lynn is off to Sejep next year. She says her best memories are definitely the friends she has made these past few years. She is grateful to have found the and been able to live out some crazy and wacky moments. Shelby Lynn would like to thank Mrs. McKinvin, Mr. Juby, and Mr. Richards for being the realist. She would also like to thank her closest friends for putting up with her endless shenanigans. Sandy Lee Sevigny. Sandy Lee will be attending Sejep next year. 
and with her brings memories of spirit days and Galt winter carnivals. She would like to thank Mr. Dubois for making her feel welcome at Galt since day one, Miss Maz okay. for being so compassionate, and Mr. Obermeyer for teaching her it's never too late to start learning when you have an interest. Mava Perkoff. Mava will be going to Champlain College to study history. She was also very passionate about this subject. In fact, one of her favorite moments spent at Galt took place in Mr. Hine's history class. She would like to thank Mr. Hine for demonstrating a fun and creative way to learn. Congratulations. Jade Saint Amour. Jade is heading to Champlain and studying in the nursing program next year. Her favorite memories will always be the non-stop laughing during lunch hour with her friends. Jad would like to thank all her teachers who believed in her and encouraged her in their classes. Adrian Passmore. Adrian will be attending special care counseling at Champlain next year and is thankful for all of the friends that she has made over the past five years. Some of her favorite memories would be going up would be doing a paperclip jump rope in the library or karaoke during class time. Adrienne is thankful for her friends helping her through high school. Together through this uh, transitional period, Adrienne has been spending more time horseback riding. Louis Charles Trépanier. Louis Charles is headed off to Cégep next year, and his best memories will always be those spent with his friends. Louis Chau would like to thank all his teachers for getting him through high school and their impact on his time at Galt. Yoan Yo. Yoan is off to Sejep next year. His favorite memory is the 2020 edition of the Galt Winter Carnival and would like to thank his friends he's made at Galt. Yoan says going outside periodically to see your friends is a good way to get back some normalcy. Jacob Willard. Jacob is planning on attending Cégep next year. Chelsea Poulain. Chelsea will be attending Cégep next year. Her best memories include learning and growing into a person she is now and meeting her boyfriend. Chelsea would like to thank Ryan McLaughlin, her parents, her friends, and her sister. Chelsea has zoned in on trying new things and suggests focusing on things that you may make you happy to survive this COVID situation. Mariah Sheldon. During the next year, Mariah will be working towards a secretarial job. Mariah says her best memories are actually the last few months of school where, we sh where she was surrounded by two people who made math class bearable. She would like to thank everyone who has ever stood by her side when things were getting hard. Mariah says this isolation period has actually been beneficial in the sense she's been able to spend some quality time with her family all while completing her own schoolwork and acting as substitute teacher for her siblings. Beatrice Schoolcraft. Abby is attending Champlain next year. She has way too many favorite memories from Galt, but would really like to acknowledge and thank all of the really great teachers she's had through her, her years at Galt. Abby has taken too many food and working on her tan to survive the isolation period. Rachel Stoddard. Rachel is off to Sejep next year to study in special care counseling. She brings with her memories of times with friends and playing rugby. Rachel would like to thank Kyle and Miss McKinvin for their support and always being there. Rachel says it's very important to stay in touch with friends during the quarantine. Tulera Radnaka.
Talera will be attending Sejep next year. His best memory is the Galt Winter Carnival. Talera is very thankful for all of his teachers and friends who have helped him get through his studies. Luca Valsan. There we go, straight out of the car. Make it as Luca Valsan. Luca is headed off to Sejep next year, with his best memories being those of his teachers from Galt. Luca would like to thank Miss Brown for teaching him the importance of respecting deadlines. Scott Loach. Scott begins his Sejep life next year, but will always cherish memories of the hockey road trips with the boys. He is particularly thankful for all of his teachers and family for their support and constant encouragement. Angela Smith. Angela will be attending Sejep next year. Her best memories are playing sports, and she would like to thank Ms. Chantler, Mr. Martell, Mr. Gilpin, her friends, and her family for all the impacts on her life and helping her through high school. Angela has used this COVID situation to get stacks in the bank with literally zero free time, so don't hit her up. Emma Paquette. Emma plans on attending Champlain and special care counseling. Her best memories are those of the basketball season and lunch with the gals. Emma would like to thank Mrs. Como, Mrs. Coleman, Mr. Hind, and Mrs. Chandler. Emma has taken time to soak up the sun and spend time with family to get some sense of routine back in her life. Al Allison Prue. Allison is off to Champlain next year, and with her takes a whole bunch of memories, too many to name in her words. Allison would like to thank all her friends for sticking by her and helping her through high school. Sam Spaulding. Sam is off to the big city next year and would like to study in the ALC theater program at John Abbott College. His best memories are the 10 golf plays he was in as well as the entire performing arts program and his fellow, fellow mates. Sam would like to thank Mrs. Ledoux for her constant support and devotion even when she was on leave, Mr. Hine for making history fun and enjoyable as well as advocating for him for the Governor Youth Medal. Lastly, Sam would like to thank Mrs. Grenier for casting him in the Galt Productions and enjoying his love for theater. Without all of the support from Galt staff and teachers, Sam says he wouldn't have been able to, uh, to, to make it to this place. Always up for trying new things, Sam says adventuring into new things would, wouldn't normally do it as a great way to pass the time during the COVID situation. Cassandra Feneuf. Cassandra plans on attending Sejep next year. Her best memories are of the performing arts concentration, which she calls her second family. She would like to thank Miss Lyons and Miss Sylvester for helping her with her self confidence. Lennox Riviera. Lennox is starting his DEP next year. His favorite memories will always be the activities we do on special days. Lennox will also like to thank all of his teachers who were really down to earth and cared to help out the students. Sebastian Seke. Sebastian will be taking the time to get his enriched maths and adult education 
in preparation for studies to be a mathematics teacher. His best memories will always be his past and present friends whom he considers to be his second family. They've always been there for him. Sebastian is grateful to his inspiring SETs, principals, secretaries, and bus drivers who had such an important impact on his life. He will never forget any of you and is forever grateful. Seb says he's been able to stay positive in these tough times by doing positive things for his family and friends and adopting a never give up attitude. Jesse Ann Sutherland. Jesse Ann will be off to SAGEP next year. She is very thankful for all of her friends who have supported her and stayed by her side throughout Galt. Jesse Ann has been committed to keeping herself busy with work and great activities to getting her through the isolation period. Dave Saint Laurent. Dave, Dave will be attending Sejep next year. His best memories are those of Piper hockey, sports concentration, awards nights, Ottawa trips, and roadies with the boys. Dave is very thankful for Ms. Coleman, Mr. Fisk, Mrs. Dubo, Mr. Walker, Dave Bullio, Mr. Hind, Bob Halsall, Mr. Leonard, and Kyle. Dave has been continuing his work ethic and dedicated himself to working out during this COVID situation. Megan St. Pierre. Megan is starting her Sage Up studies next year. She is very thankful to all of her teachers in the past who have been kind and understood her health problems and absences from school, all while helping her catch up and graduate. Megan would, be espe would especially like to thank Mr. Robertson for getting her through level four math with all of the extra time and help, as well as lunch hour tutoring. Additionally, Megan would also like to extend her gratefulness to Mrs. Maz. She was the best teacher she has ever had. Megan also says it's important to stay positive and stay surrounded by loved ones during the quarantine. James. James Poitra. <laughs> Next year, James will be studying social sciences at SAGEP. He is very thankful for his friends who helped him become the person he is today and his mom for always encouraging him. James says starting a new TV series or a game has really helped him get through this COVID situation. <laughs> Congratulations again to all of our grads of 2020. This next segment is going to go one of many different possible ways. Since this ceremony is rather unique, we thought we would try something else a little different. So like most of our experiences this school year, we're just going to jump in and hope for the best. The butterfly is a symbol of change and transformation. It represents moving through different life cycles and a secondary meaning is about finding joy in life. In the words of Maya Angelou, we delight in the beauty of the butterfly, but rarely admit the changes it has gone through to achieve that beauty. In tribute to our 159 graduates leaving Alexander Galt and going forward on their individual journeys beyond our walls, Ms. Cortez will now release a butterfly for each of these students. Just as each of these butterflies will find its way and bring beauty to the world, so too will our golden pipers. Graduates, as Connie Lynn is quoted, you can only fly once you are willing to give up the safety of your cocoon. Spread your wings and fly. There you go, there you go, there you go. 
Thank you very much, Mrs. McCourt and Vice Principals. At this time, we would like to extend our heartfelt thanks to all our other volunteers and the prom committee who made this evening possible. Additionally, we would like to extend our deepest gratitude to all our unsung community heroes who donated in various capacities to celebrate our graduates in these unconventional times. You truly are the embodiment of community spirit. Merci beaucoup, Madame McCourt. À ce moment, nous tenons à remercier chaleureusement tous nos bénévoles d'Alexander Galt et le comité du bal qui ont rendu cette soirée possible. De plus, nous aimerions exprimer notre profonde gratitude à tous nos héros méconnus de la communauté qui ont fait des dons à divers titres pour célébrer nos diplômés en ces temps non conventionnels. Vous êtes vraiment l'incarnation de l'esprit communautaire. This now concludes our 2020 graduation ceremonies. Once again, thank you to everyone who made this evening possible and congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. Thank you for tuning in and for those here on campus, please get home safely. Ceci conclut maintenant nos cérémonies de remise des diplômes 2020. Encore une fois, merci à tous ceux qui ont rendu cette soirée possible et félicitations à la promotion de 2020. Merci pour votre écoute et pour ceux qui sont ici sur le campus, veuillez rentrer chez vous en toute sécurité. Bonne fin de soirée.